get back into the mother gosh dang swing of things in order to start that off on the right foot we gotta get some caffeine and we gonna see what all this um all this talk of a uh, outbreak is right now because i don't know it's christmas it is christmas phone um it's a bunch of stuff that we probably not nah, yeah it's a it's a bunch of stuff that we don't even know what it is oh there's a stork outbreak over there if we wanted to get another one and infuriate ourselves with the uh, capture odds yeah, we could totally do that. But, um, I don't really want to do that right now. Um, as, um, the, uh, title, um, says, we are kind of, we are approaching the halfway point. So, we need to figure out exactly what that's gonna entail. Because, we know the, n actually, I think, I think what we do is like the next two gyms in a row and then we either go and do the team star raid here or we do um the titan um over here but here's the thing though i don't know exactly um what's the uh best route so i'm gonna um use good old um I'm gonna use the good old internet to help. Oh, okay. So the Charizard raid's back um, for a couple of weeks. Let's see, it runs until. <laughs> um, Serebi, you kinda. You kinda. It says that it runs until. Um, the 15th. Today is the 15th. I, I, uh, hope that that's wrong because that would be a really weird window, uh, for that to be available for, for one day. But that would be, um, that'd be kind of interesting too. Um, like if they had like little raids and stuff like that to where it's like 24 hours, go, 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 go. Or like shit like even less than that like a 12 hour um raid would be something incredible but it would have to be for something like super good like i'm actually like i'm actually kind of wondering if they will do um if they will do terror raids that um have something to do with um the um god come on the Paradox Pokemon. I'm wondering if that may be a thing at some point. Because that would be, uh, that'd be pretty neat if they decided to go about doing that. Okay, so we're going to take a look at exactly, like, what we should do. Okay, so it's definitely not the Titan. Like, I pretty much knew that. Um, it seems like it's definitely the gym that we would be doing next. But uh, this is where things get interesting. Okay. So. Okay. All right. So it seems like what we're going to do is. Gym. Star. Gym. Titan. Possibly. Like that seems like what we might wind up doing. Actually. Dang. Yeah, we might do... Okay, let's see here. Let's let's double check this. Okay, so it seems like we're going to be doing... Gym, Star, Gym, Gym. Um, and then Titan... Yeah, we're, we're just going to have to do this by ear. Um, I know that I'm uh, looking this up and everything like that, but uh, when the battle actually starts, I will not. Um, I won't um, use that information because um, this is just a fun run. 
And this is with a uh, group of Pokemon that I just want to level and do a full-on experience with and everything like that. Um, hmm. There's a little bit of audio lag, and I hate that, but I don't know if there's much I can do. But it's not enough to where it's like, oh my god, fucking, what's wrong with you? Or, I don't think anything like that. Okay, so as far as water goes, for the next gym, we don't have any um, direct answers. Kind of like um, the situation with the uh, electric gym here, but here's the thing, though. Electric only could possibly have one answer that would make us breeze through this. And it was just a attack that we happen to have. Um, water has a little bit more... What What's the word I'm looking for here? It has a little bit more room for variety as far as how we um, decide what the solution to this problem is. So, let's see if... Anyone has a, um, if anyone has a actual solution. It's not going to be Steve. You now we can always wall out. Wait. Hold up. Okay. Okay. I was going to say maybe Broly, but, um, I didn't teach him, uh, electric punch to deal with, uh, flyers. So, therefore, he only has Ice Punch. And we can't get uh, Thunder Punch from anywhere yet. Um, oh, okay, Common Rider has uh, Trailblaze. And I don't think any of his... Well, probably his Ace would be a little bit harder to deal with for Common Rider. Um, let's see. Overdrive um, could wall... I mean, for the most part, I don't think he's going to die to anything. And then, of course, um, Raziel isn't an option this time either. So it comes down to what do we, what flavor do we want to just hit the shit out of his Pokemon with? Do we want Overdrive, Common Rider, or do we want Broly? Um, as of this very second, um... Broly, um, by all means, is going to hit the hardest because he is um, evolved. Um, common, well, actually, if we put Common Rider up front and we get a couple of Trailblazes going, we can just start like hitting things really, really hard. It just sucks that we don't have, like, a um, high um, damage, low accuracy move that we can uh, put the uh, wide lens that I gave him to good use yet. But that's for uh, later on for his signature move. And I know that um, there is another Pokemon that actually has it, but, like, when it's down to, like, another two Pokemon that know it, it might as well be a signature. It's how I look at uh, Entei with uh, Sacred Fire. It's pretty much Entei and Ho-Oh's shared um, signature move. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I almost thought of a uh, of uh, Golden um, Golden Go uh, for a minute, but you know the thing about that is if we picked a uh, Golden Go we would be in the situation that we would have three ghost-type Pokemon. We already have two. Or, well, we in the future have two. And that's already kind of hard enough to uh, negotiate. But, um... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, so you're actually digging underground. I thought that that uh, behavior looked kind of sketchy, and I was like, do we have a Zorora in our nest? Do we? And then, no. Uh, like, he started doing things that were very um, Doug trio like Because I think, um... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! I just wanted to go up there and see, like, if there were any items. Or, wait... 
Is there a... Not. Okay, you know what? We ride back around. I'm not gonna try um, to do, like, a whole lot of grinding for um, this team as far as um, getting them all to a nice little level to where they'd be comfortable in the gym. Um, we're basically just doing this um, until I am comfortable with it. Like, whatever I'm like, oh yeah, totally. Like, we could probably do this. Or, like, it was like, ah, oh, we could, like, we could probably do it. Because with a, uh, with a Nuzlocke, thing is, is that, like, you have to, you have to have everybody at level cap. You have to make sure that you give yourself every advantage because, uh, Shit can uh, go sideways super fast and at points where you wouldn't expect it. I learned that plenty of times. So much fun when everything just goes sideways all of a sudden. Yeah. Like when, like, two parties worth of Pokemon just fucking die in the span of, like, two streams. Yeah. Yeah. Which, um, this weekend I'm going through that potential hell again, or at least starting to, because, um, I will be doing a, uh, Terra Lock this, uh, coming up weekend and seeing how that goes. Um, I, I thought about it, like, off the top of my head, and I was like, oh man, what if I get, like, duplicate Pokemon? And I'm like, Species Claws, dum-dum. It's a thing. And you are doing it. So is everybody else. So, whatever. So I think that should fix, um, like, a couple of problems. It's just that I hope that, uh, like, I hope that we actually get some decent encounters. But then again, we were doing it with a wheel last time. And, um, I think that was far more favored for us to just get lousy encounters. Let's see. I don't think we can make that jump. I wonder... Oh, oh, no. Okay. Ooh. Can we make it to that, I wonder? Oh, jeez. Fuck it. Come on, Joy-Con. You're not broken. Uh, nope. Can't do that. Not allowed. Whatever is over there must be too powerful for me. All right, let's get to the docks, I guess. That's fine. Or wait, was there something here? I forgot if we actually were able to land on this. No, there's nothing here. But there might be something on over there. Whoa, whoa, hey. Dick. I just realized something though, um, while we were doing this, is that, um, unlike last time, I haven't triggered, um, the water gym leader stuff yet, so he's still technically back at the city, but it's fine because, like, we'll still go to, um, the port town because, uh, that way, whenever he does do it, We'll just warp right back. Were you actually there, or did I touch you, like, through the bridge? I'm thinking I touched you through the bridge. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, well, we can actually uh, see what all the hubbub is uh, over here, because we can swim. We can do that. Ooh! Well, I guess we are going to swim, then. Alright, Pokeball, cool. Yeah, there's like a tiny bit of lag here. I wonder... I wonder what it is that's actually lagging. Hold on. Okay. Mic 
Yeah, I can't quite tell, like, what it is, but something audio-wise is, uh, lagging. Oh, it's Slowpoke that's actually having a, uh, encounter rate. It's kind of neat. Oh yeah, apparently um, they um, somebody found a way to basically uh, force a, a certain kind of thing to happen to where uh, you can basically get Shiny Bagon and um, Larvitar. Uh, depending on your version, of course, um, Violet gives you uh, Bagon and uh, Scarlet giving you uh, Larvitar. But somebody found a way to abuse a certain spot in the game to where you could uh, effectively farm shinies without having to have Herba Mystica. Uh, basically what it is is you go to a cave, um, to a very specific spot in a cave, you set up a picnic and you do the uh, sandwich that's basically just like encounter power. Um, then, you, um, then you turn around and you wait for them to spawn. And whenever they spawn, um, whenever it gets to, like, the point where they aren't spawning, uh, spawning anymore, which you should see, like, 10 or 11 in a tiny little spot, what you do at that point is you literally set up your picnic again, you leave, and then you wait for all of them to spawn again. You just keep on doing that over and over again until, um, until you eventually spawn the, um the shiny that you desire. I think what it is, is that, um, what helps the situation? Okay. So we've got that. All right. I don't know whether we hit that intentionally because I can't remember the last, uh, couple of seconds, basically. But well, we got it. All right. Let's uh, let's go trigger that um, event real quick. Oh, that's right. We gotta ride the fucking elevator. Hate that. Hate that. Oh yeah. Um, I've been um thinking about other Pokemon runs too. Um. There was a run that I did a long time ago, um, back towards the years of, like, let's say, like, 2012 or something, like, about 10-ish years ago, um, to where I basically, uh, hacked in, um, a shiny, um, Entei as my starter, and I kind of, um, wondered... If I could make another go of that, but with um, but with other um, legendary dogs as the team leader, and I think I've found um, a team for a shiny Reiku and a team for a shiny Suicune of Pokemon that I've never raised before that I would like to. And, um, it allows me to, uh, do something very, um, particular. Um, one of them, um, one of the runs that I want to do involves, um, basically, um, going through Black and White 2. Especially the challenge mode, which I will do. Um, and that team is going to be the Raiko, uh, team. And, uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool-looking team, um, on paper, but in execution, we'll see. Don't worry, everything is gonna be, like, level 5 and everything like that just going into it. Reiku, in, in like, in, um, included is gonna be level 5. And eventually, whenever I'm ready to transfer up, I'll, uh, I'll do what I have to, to make it possible. Because, um, I figured out how to do it for, uh, Entei. I'll be able to do it for, uh, Reiko. Um, and, uh, the thing is, is that whenever I beat the game, I'm gonna do one very particular rematch with the Elite Four using the team that Entei 
is part of. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm... Because I don't know why, but for some reason, whenever I made um, the... Um, the team, like the actual original team. Ooh, what's that? Misty Terrain. Okay. Whenever I made the team uh, that has um, Shiny Entei in it, um, particularly the big three, which are him, um, Feraligator, and Togekiss, for some reason, I never beat the Unova Elite Four with them. So basically, what I'm going to do is, um, on the rematch against, um, the Elite Four, I will be bringing in that trifecta, maybe, uh, one or two more, uh, guest Pokemon, and with them, I'm going to win, um, against the Unova Elite Four. And whenever I do that, um, I will feel absolutely 100% comfortable with giving the real ones, um, like the current ones, the Unova Riven, because I'll, because I'll have been like, oh, yeah, they won. But, uh, but yeah, then, um, as far as another run, uh, with, uh, Team, uh, Shiny Suicune, um, it's, um, it also is a pretty cool looking, uh, team. Um, what I'm going to be doing on that one, though, is I'm going to be doing a run of Ultra Sun and Ult or, and or, uh, well, not and or, but or, um, Ultra Boon. And I will be, um, what I'm going to be looking to do is making it to Team Rainbow Rocket and seeing that all the way through because that is something that I never did. And, um, with that, uh, what I'll probably try to do is I'll probably try to take Reiko's, uh, team and, um, go ahead and do that too. Like, transfer them up. Um, just to see if, uh, just to have a little bit of fun. And see if, uh, I can, uh, beat the, uh, Elite Four with that team as well. Because that's kind of how I um, like to round out a team, is I like to uh, take them through um, the entire game and to the Elite Four. Like, one of my things uh, was that I wanted to um, basically get to the point where um, my big three in uh, my shiny Entei, um, Feraligator, and then Togekiss, um basically have all of the uh all of the uh region champion um uh ribbons that are possible to them there's one that unfortunately is not possible and it is the straight up champion ribbon because that was introduced in uh generation three so the only way that i could possibly do it and i don't really know if i want to like, I, it would require a lot more, um, like, a lot more tinkering than I'm willing to do for it. Because I believe that I got the better, um, version, basically, of that through the, um, through the ribbon that you actually get for defeating Red in, uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I think that's the more impressive, um, ribbon than uh the uh, champion ribbon from uh yeah it was actually either fire red or leaf green or um you could get it from uh, ruby sapphire emerald and then um as far as um like from ruby or sapphire um they do have the uh, actual hoenn ribbon that was introduced um with the uh, alpha sapphire and omega ruby to where that's more of an accomplishment. It's definitely more of an accomplishment. Like, especially in rematches and stuff like that. And they definitely have Kalos because... Psh, Kalos, whatever. <laughs> like, Kalos is uh, a pushover um, region overall, I feel. Like, I think the Elite Four... 
itself is a little bit harder than the champion. Um, but I definitely can't wait to start up uh, Black, um, well, probably Black 2, um, and uh, give uh, Challenge Mode a go, because... Um, Doing it with a um, doing it with a uh, dream team kind of setup is uh, something that I really want to do. It's just I have to um, sit down and make the team, and it requires one very specific circumstance for um, Reiko to eventually be able to be transferred. Because remember what I said, he will start off at level five. Just like um, the Entei that I have now. But with that Entei, I figured out what I needed to do in order to make him uh, transferable and everything like that. I figured it out. Um, so, yeah. I have no problem uh, saying any of this. I, uh, I have fun with uh, stuff like this. Like, being able to craft um, your own team is just something pretty cool. And something else to consider, too, is that even if somebody's going to be all like, Oh, man, you're doing the cracked IVs and all that and everything like that. Let me um, mention something about all of that now. Is that... Back then, like maybe generation, let's say generation seven down, you may have had a point. Actually, from generation six down, let's say generation six down, you may have had a point back then because, you know, people would have to work to get um, certain Pokemon uh, to be perfect for, um, like, verses and everything like that. There's totally a, there would totally be an argument for that. But, here's the thing. We now have the ability to not only change a Pokemon's nature, but we also have the ability to switch between all of its abilities and perfect all of their IVs with an item at level 50 now. I don't think it's that big a deal anymore. Really, I don't. Because, like, it'd be like, oh, it required, like, it doesn't require a whole lot of effort one way or the other. It really doesn't. Let's see. Actually, let's, uh... Yeah, that's weird, that audio, um, issue. Let's see, shucks, I let old man Kofu down. You sure did, you fucking bitch. I can't wait, though, um, to do that um, Black 2 run in challenge mode because that rival is the kind of opponent that you should want. Like, you should want to have an opponent like him. Um, because um, he is... He has the AI that is very similar to what a trainer would do. And not only that, but the movesets, the items that are attached to Pokemon, and everything like that. It all is just like, oh, this is legitimately what you would actually encounter online. Like, that's the thing, is that most games... Um, like, 90% of the Pokemon games, they don't give you that experience in story. They don't. 
Um, and it kind of sucks. Okay. Wait, the wedding bid. I think I know how to win this one. Okay. I'm gonna bid... I'm gonna bid uh, just 10,000. Okay, 20, 25,000. Um, he gave me 50,000, so we're just gonna go to 30. 40,000. 45. Okay, so we... We get 5,000 back. Because he gave us 50,000. And that is a pretty good uh, tip, though, to be honest. Yeah, like, there's... Like, I can, uh, here's the thing, I can understand, um, people who have the time to do that kind of thing, but here's the thing, I, I just don't want to spend my time just breeding the team, trying to get it just right and everything like that. I don't want to spend my time doing that. I want to get the team I want to get the team, and I want to play the game. That is what I want. That's all that I want. Like, if anybody's ever like, well, you did this in order to do it. Like, I'm not playing against anyone. Like, I don't think I've really ever done um, online battles or anything like that before. Um... So it's not like I'm entering like a major like, oh, Nintendo presents the blah, blah, blah champion and then taking my Pokemon in with it. In fact, most of the Pokemon that I probably raise and most of the teams that I like would get demolished. And that's OK, because I have fun just doing whatever with them through just single player stuff. Doesn't fucking hurt my feelings or anything like that. No one's going to hurt my feelings uh, over it. I think there's a time um, that most people at least got um, experimental with uh, Game Sharks and action replays at some point when they were gaming. Um, the only people who really can't say that are the people who came after that. Hey, Zach. I was just expounding about how it's kind of uh, fun to um, put a uh, spicy um, pre-made team into uh, Pokemon via nefarious means. Am I ready for World of Warcraft? Probably the this coming up weekend, like more than likely, but um, that also depends on how... Um, the, uh, the Terra Lock winds up going. Because, uh, that's gonna be interesting to start that off. I almost feel like I, um, like I'm kind of in this, uh, loop of, uh, Pokemon content because now I'm also, uh, <laughs> I'm also kind of in this, um, thing to where, like, I, uh, I now want to do a run of uh, the challenge mode of uh, Black 2, which would be something I've never done, but it's going to be with a team that I've pretty much made up um, with one very particular Pokemon that people may look at and be all like, oh man, why? And I'll be all like, because history, that's fucking why. And actually... Could be around the 10-ish year anniversary of me uh, doing the first version of what I'm talking about, too. So, personal anniversary, personal sentiment, pick a, pick a reason. It's going to be a level 5 Reiko that um, is on the team. It's going to be interesting. Shiny Reiko. Shiny Reiko. 
So you appear to be progressing well on the gym circuit. Yes, I am. It's Rika. See, this is something else that I don't get, is why can't we just have some neutral color um, uniforms? I, I can understand if they want you to have your little badge and everything like that on them, but why not have just, like, black pants? You can't have black pants, you have to have, like, fucking purple pants, you have to have the fucking orange with, you have to have the red with orange stream, uh, um, fuck, what is it? Um... Yeah, the orange striped pants. Why didn't I remember that? There we go. All right. But hey, uh, Zach, if you're still there, I'm kind of curious. Did you ever, um, at some point, ever play in Pokemon, um, like take a look at a uh, using a uh, action replay just to do like just to do fun little shit maybe set up a team or or something like that just to just to try something because i have a feeling that most people that could have done it um back in the day when it was possible probably did at least once Man, but, like, back then, I almost considered it, like, an art form to get, like, the code right, to get, um, like, to get the Pokemon to the point where it was legitimate, pretty much. Like, my, uh, Shiny Entei is, like, my, uh, biggest success story as far as, um, as far as that particular aspect of it goes. Because whenever, um, X and Y came along, um... I was worried that he wouldn't make it into X and Y, so I did my research and I figured out a way to do it. Um, basically, I was able to take um, everything that made him, like his file, and then I went in and I was like, when do you meet Entei in the game? And then like, I was like, okay, you can meet him at any place, any route, in the game. So that part's okay. What's not okay? Well, according to my data, he was found at level 5. That is impossible. He was at that point, um, like, way over level, like, to 60 to 70. And then I figured out, like, wait a minute. What if I just put it to where we met him at level 40? And that's all it took. That's all it took. Everything else was good. So that's what we're going to wind up doing with Reiko is um, we're going to we're going to uh, make it to where he appeared um, very early into um, Heart Gold slash Soul Silver um, because he can be found anywhere, like any route essentially um and we're going to say that we met him at level 40 because by the time that the game is done and we're ready to transfer him he will definitely be past level 40 so it will actually work so in case you guys are looking to do anything like that like that's kind of a way you could do it I'm not saying, um, like, oh man, definitely do it or anything like that, but it's, um, it's something you can do if you've ever been interested. Like, the thing is, is that I just don't want anybody to try that and then get attached to the Pokemon in question and then not be able to use them like going forward because that was almost my situation with uh, my shiny uh, intake Fortescue. I was I was really afraid that I wasn't going to like he wasn't going to make it. But hey man, like you can do it. It's it's not that hard. And like I said, nowadays it doesn't matter really because um through just in-game things, you can make the perfect Pokemon. So, um, IVs aren't that 
important anymore to focus on. Same thing as natures and all that. Yeah, probably, um... Yeah, I wish there was a mobile version of, um... Of, uh, Pokegen or Pokehex that, uh, I can just play around with while I'm, uh, like, on lunch or something at work. Just so I can do it kind of on my own time. Broly wants to learn the move Thrash. No, you don't need to learn that. Steve wants to learn Recover. No, but let's keep that in mind. Crabominable. Okay, that's his ace. Hmm. Okay, I think we keep going because we can um, terastalize. I think that's how we do this. What I'm really interested in, though, is uh, the potential to actually play around with that kind of stuff for a 3DS um, for whenever I do a run of uh, Ultra Moon. I'm really interested to see how that fucking turns out. Because, like, I don't know how easy it's going to be. I don't know how hard it's going to be. But uh, we will see here at some point. I may be able to do it on the computer and then put it into hardware. Which, if that's the case, that would be fucking amazing. Like, if I could do that, I'm going to be honest. Like, I want to be all like, oh, dude. Awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Here we go. There's another shiny Pokemon or two that I'm gonna include on each team. Um, I think what it is on um, Raiko's team, I'm giving um, him a partner, basically, of the Red Gyarados. Like, I think that's, I think that's gonna be a good partner for him because uh, I think Gyarados is going to act. Oof, as uh, the rain dance uh, setup for Reiku, because I'm gonna give Reiku thunder at some point, and uh, that's just a good combination. It really is. Okay, we're fine though. I guess we just hit him. Go Broly. I don't think we take a chance on. Um, well, on anything, so we're just gonna... Oh, okay. So he lives for one turn. And then Crab Hammer, okay. I forgot what we... Ooh, shit! Good job, Broly! Great job! Maximum power! That was great! He held on. Um, and then um, for uh, Suicune's run, I think it's not a partner um, Pokemon to be used to partner up with. Oh shoot! Broly fainted from use of the uh, from use of the orb. I gotcha. Okay, I was wondering what that was. Um, it's not a partner Pokemon for Suicune specifically, but it's a Pokemon that I definitely wanted to use. Uh, because I have it, and I can't obviously travel back in time with it or anything like that, but it's a shiny Steelix. Because shiny Steelix is gold, and that is cool as fuck. Bro. Alright, level 40 will listen to me. Chilling water, that's right. So, yeah. Anybody else still mad about Scald? Like, 
I don't know. The thing about Scald is that they could have nerfed the chance. Say, oh, Esterne, hola. Let's see. Okay. All right, so that's four gym leaders down. So now we got to do a couple of things. First, we got to revive everybody. Yeah, Broly fucking took it to the limit. That was awesome. Ooh, what's this? Sleep talk. That's right. I'm starting to remember some of these. That's another reason kind of why I want to do um, a black and white two run. Because um, that would, that would kind of uh, be a little bit of something different from, um, you know, this, which I don't mind, uh, Pokemon, um, Scarlet and Violet. Obviously, I don't, because this is the third playthrough that I've done of the game. It's just, you know, sometimes you want to do a little bit of, uh, something just a little bit different. Maybe not even something necessarily different, just in a new spot. Let's just say that. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so it seems like Raziel and Momoa are a little bit behind. Okay. Seems like that'll do it. There we go. Alright. Cool. Yeah, it... I think it's so fucking weird that just my entire team is nothing but adamant um, natured Pokemon and it works for them. Um, cool thing is, though, is that on um, the um, Suicune and Entei, or not Entei, but Suicune and uh, Reiko uh, runs, um, there are there is a mix-up of Pokemon. And then just the fact that Reiko... And Suicude, in general, are more uh, special inclined anyway. Like, pretty good. But they each have uh, some different stuff on uh, their teams. Like, for instance, um, I gave... And I'm, mm, I may switch this around, but I... Yeah, I'll actually leave the name out because I don't know which one uh, is going to get which now. Um, especially now that I think about the meta of a certain team... Um, is um, I gave one team Alakazam and I gave another team uh, Gengar. Um, so those are special attackers. And that's both uh, two different Pokemon that I've wanted to do or wanted to uh, try out for a very long time. It's just haven't ever done it. Or, you know, I might just do those as, like, my own little thing. Hmm. At least one of them I might do. But I would love to do, um, a, uh, first time ever run of, um, of, what do you call it, um, of, uh, the challenge mode of, uh, of, uh, Black 2. I think Nintendo just needs to make that shit available. Like, make it readily available. Because the thing is, though, is that, like, you got content creators like me, and you got a lot of other uh, content creators that just... that solely do Pokemon content. If you made it so that the Nintendo Switch could just play all the old Pokemon games, and they could all transfer up 
um, with the use of a uh, Pokemon Home, like, hey man, that's just free money. That's a way that you could uh, push the um, the um, the expansion pass um, even further. Like, if you want to push the expansion pass, um, put some Pokemon stuff related to it in there. And I don't mean Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, because here's the thing. As good as those games were, part of the magic of those games was being able to use your own Pokemon, in which, in the Switch version, you can't. And I wouldn't expect them to be able to anyway. Like, the... Mm. Okay. Let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it real quick. There is a way that you could do it with uh, Pokemon Home. Like, how complicated it would be for them to allow it? That's the... That's the interesting part. Because here's what I think you could do. If you could... Okay. You could hypothetically let Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 take your um, account, basically. Like your Pokemon Home account. And here's the thing. Whenever you play the yellow, um, blue, or red versions that came out for the 3DS, they have a special thing in their description. They say they come from the Johto or uh, Kanto good old days, right? So what you do is you allow those Pokemon to show up. Um, the only thing, though, is is that um, there are going to be moves, obviously, that they can't do, but, like... The only thing that I would say about that is, like, you would have to put up some kind of thing to where, like, maybe the move just doesn't appear at all. It just registers, like, it as, like, having a less, one less or two less moves, how many ever. And you have to be all, and, like, they have to say, like, look, um, this shit's complicated, so try to look up what Pokemon... Um, or what moves your Pokemon can learn back in the day and have it go, like, have it be in Pokemon Home with just those moves. Like, I think that would work. But would, uh, would people be willing to do that? Or would people accept that as just, you know, a thing? I don't know. I don't quite know. But we are about to go fight Atticus, actually. I wasn't expecting us to actually fight him this soon, but... Um... A pleasant consequence, basically. What would be really cool is if um, you were able to do um, oh my god like it would be so cool if you could figure out a way to let us transfer um, Pokemon okay if they could just get the myriad of Pokemon games throughout the years and just have those on the uh, Nintendo uh, expansion pass and have it to for the first time where we could transfer Pokemon from Generation 2 to Generation 3? That would be the most insane thing ever. Do you know how much, like, content people would fucking do with that? how much like that would actually uh do for you 
because that's something that like people wanted like back then but like even if you did it now it's still a good thing because like that's that's the um, potential to take a team from the days of red or blue and yellow or um, gold silver or crystal and take them throughout the entire series I think that would just be really, really neat. That's fulfilling um, childhood uh, fan, like, long-time Pokemon fans' dreams in order to do something like that. Because, like, you know that there are some people that got pretty sad whenever it was time to say goodbye um, to their favorite Pokemon because it's like, oh man, there's no way I can transfer you. And um, I think that's kind of what harkened me to the uh, logic that, like, I needed to figure out a way to transfer that shiny Entei that I basically made up. Uh, because I was like, man, I do not want this to be a situation like that. He is, he is gonna make it. Like, he is making it, or, like, I might not just play the new uh, Pokemon. Like, that was how much having him uh, able to be transferred up meant to me, personally. And now, um, technically, it's, um, it's completely possible, but um, the order of it is so wonky right now. Because, like, you could transfer them into, um, I think you could transfer them, I'm trying to think, maybe into Pokemon Bank, which would allow you to then transfer them into, um, Generation 6. Which has um, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, basically, through uh, the uh, Alpha and Omega versions. Let's see, where do we go? Okay, maybe further up the river. It's just very complicated, because the thing is, is that there's no way... Hmm to really experience every single uh, generation, I don't think, with a uh, Pokemon team right now. Like, you wouldn't be able to anyway, because there is no such thing as, like, a level reset or anything like that. Like, there just isn't. Like, that would be such a cool feature. Like, if, um... Oh my god, like, this would be the dream. Okay, so you go into a Pokemon game, and Pokemon game already has, um, like, home ready, okay? And then it says, would you like to, um, start this game with a, uh, with a team from Pokemon Home. You do that, and it says, like, oh, it looks like um, your Pokemon are evolved. They will be, um, like, they will um, be uh, de-evolved and um, leveled down to five, but they will retain, um, or, like, what? Hmm. It would be a um, complicated process, but Jesus Christ, it would be so good. Like, for Pokemon that were uh, already evolved, it would be all like, okay, we're going to reset it down to five, and uh, your Pokemon's moves will be Pokemon moves that can only be learned at level five. Like, and then um, they go like, hey, would you like to try this on um, challenge mode? Because obviously, since you have a team ready, you kind of know what you're doing, right? Like, I think that's a good 
way to go about like a kind of skill check kind of thing. Like, because if you already have a, like, if your player already has a team in mind that they're going in there with, you know they've played the game before. Like, that's a given. Jesus, how are we going to get in this motherfucker? Hold on. Okay. This is so weird. Okay. Okay. I see how we do this. Okay. We have to cut through all of that area in order to do it. That's fine. But yeah, I think... I think we deserve a challenge mode again in the main series. I think we need um, considerations like... Um, like what I mentioned brought into play. Um, the ability to bring in uh, Pokemon and like D-level them. Hello there. How are you? I was just going expounding upon the need for various options to start up uh, playthroughs with... Uh, with uh, various Pokemon games and stuff like that. Because, like, Jesus, we need, like, the challenge mode from Black 2 to White 2 to come back. But then I'm also trying to find my way around to um, the next uh, Team Star raid. I like to ride my motorcycle. I like to ride it fast. Yeah. Let's see. Um, how far am I? Um, I just uh, finished the uh, fourth badge. Um, like the fourth actual gym badge. I've defeated uh, three titans and uh, two of the uh, team star people. And I'm about to go for my third Team Star person right now in uh, good old Poison Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village. Let's see. There he is. All right, we're making it. We're making it. Let's see here. What about you? Oh, my uh, Pokemon's level? 30. It's right at 30. Like every single one. So we're gonna be like maybe a tiny bit under leveled for the fight with uh, Poison Hokage, but we should be fine. We can't have uh, the advantage all the time. And this is kind of a team that um, I made that I was like, okay, I played through the game twice and these are Pokemon that I still want to try. Oh no. Uh. Oh, you you're going through uh for it right now? Okay, cool. Um interesting thing that you should probably know about and it's really good is that uh whenever you beat um Atticus, um that's who that dude is. Um, you'll actually get access to uh, Fire, Ice, and uh, Thunder Punch through the TM store. So that's kind of why I'm excited to uh, do it, because even though I think I only have, like, two Pokemon who can use them, I mean, they're good moves. They're, um, they have their uses. I mean, they're not the most powerful ones, but, I mean, shoot. <laughs> Like, they're good for coverage, I should say that. That's probably the best way to describe it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, don't know if you have any info open in front of you right now. Um, but um, he will be the first um, one to actually have a full team. Or not a full team. Actually, a team of uh, four overall 
Did I beat the game already? I've beaten it twice. I've beaten it once, um, basically with little to no information, and then I did, um, and then I did a Nuzlocke. Um, I actually got, um, both of them, uh, archived over on the, uh, archive channel. If, uh, if, if you ever wanted to take a, take a little bit of a look. Uh, the Nuzlocke was pretty, um, pretty sketchy. I'll, uh, just say that because the routes are so almost non-existent in this game that you kind of have to make up encounters yourself. So basically, I did it uh, based off of like, oh, I see that, I put it on a wheel, and then whenever we would reach like one Pokemon Center to another, or whenever I got tired of looking, we would spin the wheel and whatever we got on the wheel uh, was our encounter. But uh, I think this weekend I'm going to be starting up a uh, Terra Lock to where Nuz Nuzlocke rules, but every um, encounter of ours is decided by a Terra Raid, and we don't get to see what it is until we run, like, until we get up to it and hit A. Species Clause is definitely going to be on, though, so we don't get, like, repeats and shit like that. Because that's no fun. Nobody wants a team of nothing but, um... Nothing but uh, Lechonks and the starter. <laughs> Prepare to be raided. Let's go. Let's do this. I still say that um, we should have gotten uh, team stars like just like top and pants as an option. Like for customization or unlockable option. It's so much bullshit. Oh yeah, by the way, um Shibby, just out of curiosity, what uh what starter did you wind up going with? Kinda kinda interested because I think this generation is probably the generation where a lot of people actually had probably multiple um what's weak against uh poison again um fairy fairy and uh grass both of those i think that's all they have All right, let's just send in Overdrive. Yeah, um, I think Tinka Tunnel resist at least, or it'll do neutral damage. Oh no, Tinka Tun, hold on. Let me uh, make sure real quick. Because I think the way you typed it out, I may have uh, misunderstood you. Fairy is weak to um poison but um you won't take any damage as a uh, tinkaton because you are steel oh no, no 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 like you're probably seeing this a little bit but yeah you're actually good um what you want though um ideally is a uh, Let's see. What you would want ideally is like a psychic type move or I think a ground type. Let's see, what's super effective? Uh, psychic? I know psychic is, but um, I need to actually check on that myself. I'm trying to think to myself, what's pure poison that I can uh, do? Grimer is a good example. Yeah, ground, uh, ground and uh, psychic are what you want. Oh yeah, then armor rogue will be fine. Armor rogue's perfect. Yeah, I used uh, armor rogue in uh, my first uh, playthrough. That thing almost felt more like a starter than my starter. Like I don't know what it was, but I disliked him so much more, or her, because it was a her.
Varum is... Varum is fucking shocking. Jesus Christ. Oh, doing the whole stockpile thing. Good thing you are slower, so I don't have to deal with the consequences. How do I um, complete the Pokedex if you can't get Violet exclusives? Um, actually, it's probably easier than you think. Um, because of two reasons. One, um, like... Um, not too long ago, they had a Tyranitar and um, Salamence raid. And it didn't matter what version you played, you could just do it. So you could get those hypothetically through that. Um, a lot of people are actually, like, really okay with uh, trading over their version of Paradox Pokemon for the other version. Like, you just do an even trade of, uh, I think, seven overall. Um, and, um, I mean, for the box legendary, you could probably just negotiate a uh, simple switch real quick just back and forth so that you get the entry and they just get back their pokemon or um or you could like i would say wait um because you know dlc is going to come for this game and it could have something to do with acquiring the other box legendary or they could always uh, hold an event um, in the future um, to basically give you the other um, box legendary. Because I know a lot of people like uh, got their hands on uh, shiny versions of the box legendary via sketchyish means, and I bet Nintendo's like. We just need to do an event. Like, if people are going to do that, then we just need to do an event. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, it, um... Like, you can find uh, people that'll easily just trade you their uh, Paradox uh, Pokemon or their... Or just the first form of, like, the version exclusives um, that aren't Paradox Pokemon. Um, because here's the thing, um, I don't know how far you've gotten or if this is your first playthrough, but whenever you, um, get to the final area of the game, there isn't just one of each Paradox Pokemon. It's multiple. And they spawn, like, just as regularly as, um, a semi-rare spawn. Like, I have, um, like, three of each one from Violet. I think I have two of each one from Scarlet. So, basically, if one of my friends is like, Hey, man, I got the other version of the game, but I wish I kind of had this one. It's like, trade it! Send me a code! I'll trade it! Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Overdrive may put in some work here. Hmm. Does Bug do anything? I doubt it. Yeah, Bug doesn't do anything. Let's put Raziel up front. The lag of, um, the lag of the stream, or the lag of, um... Oh, it seems like I'm doing fine. Or you mean the, uh, if you mean the lag of the game, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, man. It, it is what it is, but I find, yeah, I find the weird thing about it is that so many people brought that up, and they're just like, yeah, the lag, it sucks, and the frame rate is horrible, and the draw distance is bad, and Pokemon keep on coming up, and I haven't had this much fun with a Pokemon game in years. It's so weird, because, like, that seems to be the consensus, is that despite all of this, people are having fun. Like, I think that's, I think that's very telling. 
Like, sure, like, it would be nice if the game ran at a full 60, but, like, just the fact that people are like, this game is fun? It's, it shows you, it shows you that Nintendo did something right. Oh, um, Shibby, uh, just out of curiosity, didn't know if you knew, but the parad- uh, not the paradox, but the, um, Titan Pokemon, um, after you're done battling them, you can, uh, actually go back and catch them. They're not gonna be quite as big, but they are nice to have, and, um, they are actually physically larger um, they're, um, at their max size that they can be, because this game has a, uh, size mechanic. For instance, um, Overdrive right here, he is a double extra large, believe it or not. Yeah, um, I think the big one, though, um, that you want to try to catch is probably, um is probably the Great Tusk. Like, because getting him early... Okay, yeah. If you haven't gotten Great Tusk, I'd recommend him. He's fucking incredible. <laughs> Are you, like, now um, trying to go back and beat the uh, Team Star members? Because you're like, oh man, those are a thing. Shit. <laughs> Because I kind of uh, wound up doing that um, in both playthroughs that I've done. Is all of a sudden I'm like, oh, wait a minute. There's like three more Team Star members in a row. <laughs> it's not fun. And out of the stories, out of the story paths, I feel that um, like Team Stars definitely was probably the most of a letdown. There we go. Yeah! It's time for Overdrive to start bulldozing through everything. And for us to be able to um, get our uh, elemental punches too. Yeah, the thing is, is that um, even not as a Titan, the um, the uh, Great Tusk that you can get that was the Titan, he is so stupidly huge that you can't help but love the guy. He's just a big fucking lovable dude. On guard. You see... I actually don't mind Atticus that much compared to, um, compared to, um, the, uh, Artisan, uh, Gym Leader, because that dude said avant-garde for no reason, and when he said it, it wasn't even in the right context, and I hate him for that. And I will never forgive him. Ooh, fuck. Well, you got hurt from Rocky Helmet. Oh, well, it's a good thing I'm already poisoned. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Let's see. Oh yeah, definitely go get him. He's fucking awesome. I would recommend him to uh, anybody. Like, um, his uh, move pool is uh, surprisingly good too. Like, he's just... He's, fu he's a fun dude. Oh, okay, that's right. Fuck. Oh, but that was still a crit, so we got more out of that than I thought.
Yeah, whatever you see how big um, he is, like even not in his uh, Titan form, you're gonna be all like, whoa. <laughs> Especially like whenever you get down into uh, area zero where all of uh, the Paradox Pokemon are, and you start to look at the other ones that are in the area, you'll be all like, oh wow. He really is bigger. <laughs> he is much bigger. Oh, but um, a really um, interesting little um, thing, though, is um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to describe this, but I don't think it really matters because I think you'll get what I'm saying. Is he shiny locked? Um, you know what? I couldn't tell you. I honestly couldn't. I can look. I'm curious. Let's see. Our Titan Pokemon. Oh, someone's already asked. Okay. Um, unfortunately, um, unfortunately, he uh, he is uh, shiny locked. Um, but the thing, though, is, is that, um, shiny hunting for the Paradox Pokemon, um, isn't super hard as far as, like, what I've seen. Like, especially the, uh, like, the, uh, uber, um, shiny Pokemon for each game. They are not hard at all. Like... Um, and just to clarify, I am referring to, um, to, uh, Iron Valiant for, uh, Violet and then, a uh, Roaring Moon for, um, for Scarlet. Like, that's more... What you need for that is essentially, uh, uh-oh. You haven't gotten a single shiny yet? It ain't gonna take very long, I'll tell you that. Like, you will... You will run into a shiny 